Hello, I'm Mayor Kevin Davis. Welcome to Hardin County. We are celebrating our bicentennial year, our 200th anniversary. As you hear from historians, we hope that you will learn and enjoy more about Hardin County. I am David Cagle and I am the president of the Historical Society and I have done a lot of work on the history of uh, Hardin County and we're going to look at the first, uh, the early part of the county's history from about uh, uh, 1818 until uh, 1830. All right, the land that was uh, Hardin County originally belonged to the Native Americans that came to this continent uh, across the Bering Strait about 11,000 years ago. Of course, uh, they uh, settled uh, all across the American continent, and uh, about the year 1000, the Vikings visited North America. Uh, they got blown off course and came to the continent and spent some time, and then uh, went back uh, without claiming the area. But Colum Columbus came in 1492, and he uh, claimed America for the Spanish government. So in 1492, uh, that's the wrong date, 1497, the English came to America and they claimed portions of North America. And then in 1530s, the French finally came to America and the Spanish and the English and the French uh, were all vying for control over North America. and. It ended in what we now call the French and Indian War, which the British won in about 1763. So they uh, got control of the uh, continent from the Mississippi to the Atlantic Ocean and had control of most of that area and uh, had set up 13 colonies along the eastern uh, United States and uh, the land over the Appalachian Mountains to the uh, Mississippi River was reserved for the Native Americans or the Indians. The English control didn't last long because in 1775 the colonies uh, revolted and we had the, what is known as the American Revolution. Well, this continued for about eight years and in 1783, uh, the uh, Americans came out on top, and that's uh, when the uh, United States was formed. Uh, the original 13 colonies became the original 13 states. The war ended in 1783, and in 1784, uh, Colonel Joseph Harden and two of his sons were awarded land uh, for their participation in the Revolutionary War. They fought in the Battle of Kings Mountain, which was kind of a turning point in the South in the war. They were awarded, Colonel Hardin was awarded 3,000 acres, and his two oldest sons were awarded 1,000 acres each, and this was located in the future Hardin County. Joseph Hardin Sr. was born in Henrico County, Virginia, just south of uh, Richmond in 1734. In uh, uh, 1762, he married Jane Gibson of the same county, and uh, they were the parents of 13 children. Uh, the first seven were born in Virginia, and their names were Joseph Hardin Jr., uh, John Hardin, Jean Ann Harden, who married a Gooden, James Washington Harden, uh, Benjamin Harden, uh, he was the first Benjamin Harden, he was killed by Indians when he was young. Robert Harden, one, he also died young as a result of being killed by the Indians. Uh, and Sarah Harden Gallagher, Margaret Harden Cooking Doll. Okay, those that 
first group uh, were born in uh, uh, Virginia. And uh, at that time, about uh, 1772, they moved to North Carolina, Tryon County, North Carolina. And uh, Rebecca uh, Harden Steele was born there uh, in 1775. Then we had Benjamin Harden, or the second Benjamin Harden was born, uh, Amos Harden, Gibson Harden, and the second Robert Harden uh, were all born in Tryon County, North Carolina. They lived there for several years until the Revolutionary War began, and because of safety for his family, he moved them across the mountains into Tennessee about 1780. And uh, that same year, uh, Colonel Hardin and two of his sons participated in the uh, battle at Kings, Mount, uh, Kings Mountain, which was a great victory, victory uh, for the American side. As a result of their participation in the Revolutionary War, Colonel Hardin was awarded uh, 8,000 acres of land, and 3,000 of those acres was located here in what is now Hardin County, and Savannah sits in the western central part of that 3,000 acres. His two sons, Joseph Jr. and John, uh, came out of the war as captains, and they were awarded 1,000 acres each, and uh, that property is located on either side of Horse Creek at uh, Sarah Gorda. Property in future Hardin County was surveyed by Isaac Taylor beginning in 1784. Uh, and uh, he uh, surveyed uh, 3,000 acres for Colonel Hardin, the 2,000 acres for his two sons, 5,000 acres for uh, William Kerr, and 4,000 acres for himself for the work he was doing. In uh, about 1784, the settlers in uh, uh, East Tennessee uh, were having problems with the Indians. And uh, in fact, uh, three of uh, Colonel Hardin's children were killed by Indians. So they wanted the state of North Carolina to, to give them more protection from the Indians, which North Carolina would not do. So in 1784, uh, about eight counties, or what is now about eight counties in East Tennessee, uh, tried to form a state called Franklin. They, they uh, applied to the U.S. to form the 14th state uh, to be called Franklin. And they, want, they used that name because they wanted uh, Benjamin Franklin on their side. <laughs> in 1788, uh, the United States uh, government rejected the state of Franklin. And in 1790, to rid themselves of the problems in Tennessee, the west of the North, state of North Carolina ceded their property back to the uh, federal government. Uh, the U.S. Appoint, appointed William Blunt as the governor of the Southwest ter Territory, which was basically Tennessee in uh, 1790, and uh, he was the governor for six years. And in 1796, Tennessee became the 16th state of the Union, and uh, John Sevier then was elected governor. In that year, same year, 1796, uh, Colonel Hardin decided to move to Knoxville, which was the uh, capital at that time. and. Uh, I think uh, he had plans to be in the government, but there, there is uh, some thought that he might have been ill at that time because uh, he passed away in 1801. But in 1796, before he moved, he sold all his property in Greene County, and he sold his 3,000 acres in Hardin County to John Irwin, who lived in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. All right, in 1805 and 1806, uh, treaties were made with the Cherokees and the Chickasaws, which opened most of the land in Middle Tennessee for settlement. And 1813, 1815, 
James Harden represented Knox County in the Tennessee State Legislature. In 1815, Joseph Harden uh, Jr. made a trip to Harden County to locate his and his twin brother's land, which was then sold to their younger brother, James Harden. And uh, there was a second treaty with the Chick Cherokees, not Cherokees, Chickasaws, in 1816, which opened up the land, the remainder of the land in Middle Tennessee for settlement. And uh, the Hardin party of uh, 22 people uh, and went overland uh, to Hardin County with livestock and uh, I guess a wagon train of their family. There was about 22 went overland and four went by river boat, flat boat down the Tennessee River carrying the heavy items. And uh, they arrived in what is now Hardin County in July of 1816. Uh, they uh, built a camp there and spent the winter on Hardin's Creek down in the north part of the county. In 1817, James Harden moved to his land at Sierra Gorda uh, on uh, the 2,000 acres that he had purchased from his brothers who, who had gotten the land grants for their Revolutionary War effort. Uh, also in 1817, four other brothers of James Harden moved to Harden County. Uh, there was uh, well, James and uh, Joseph Jr. came originally, and the next year, Amos, Gibson, Robert, and Benjamin made the trip to Hardin County. Benjamin was the first sheriff in Wayne County. He was also a state representative and uh, for Hardin and Wayne counties. In 1817, James Harden moved to that land, and the same year, his brothers, Benjamin, Amos, Gibson, and Robert Harden moved to Harden County. Uh, in 1818, a treaty, with the, which was the, called the Great Chickasaw Session, gave West Tennessee to the state of Tennessee. And then in 1819, by reaching across Tennessee River, the citizens of Hardin County area formed a constitutional county of 625 square miles, and uh, Hardin County uh, became law in November 13, 1819. In 1818, a petition was made to the state of Tennessee to form a new county to be called Hardin in honor of Colonel Joseph Hardin. In 1819, a bill was passed by the state legislature and Hardin County became law on the 13th of November in 1819. Uh, the north and the south boundaries, when it was when a description was written, the north and south boundaries extended from Wayne County all the way to the Mississippi River. Uh, Shelby County was then cut from Hardin County 11 days later, so there was some politics involved there. Uh, in any, any case, the state legislature redefined the boundaries of Hardin County the next year at their next session. So. Uh, the boundaries were made about the same as they are today, uh, about 625 square miles uh, was a constitutional county. All right, in 1820, a group of concerned citizens met at the house of James Harden at Hardensville, which is now called Saragorda, to form a court of pleas and court of sessions. Isom Cherry was chosen as the chairman of the court. James Harden uh, was chosen as the county court clerk, and Daniel Smith was chosen as the sheriff. And there were five men who were elected as the quorum court to serve for one year. In 1821, James Harden uh, allowed the court to meet in his residence. A small log structure was built uh, near the house 
to house the county records that were uh, filed. In 1822, on the 9th of January of that year, James Harden was declared defaulter as to certain monies belonging to the office of the Chancery Court Clerk and re was removed from office. Uh, in 1826, James Harden and his bondsmen, who were his brothers, were bankrupt, bankrupt from their losses in court actions and penalties from the state of Tennessee. And uh, all of the Hardin boys were either dead or had moved out of Hardin Wayne County area by 1826. Uh, Joseph Hardin Jr. had moved to Arkansas and where he died in 1825. James Hardin died in Hardin County in 1826 and all his immediate family moved to McCracken County uh, Kentucky. Uh, Gibson Harden died in Hardin County in 1826. Amos Harden moved back to Knox County, Tennessee, where he died in 1840. Benjamin Harden, the first sheriff of Wayne County and state representative for Harden and Wayne Counties, uh, moved to Polk County, Texas, in where he died in 1845. He was the great grandfather of the famous outlaw John Wesley Harden. And then Robert Harden moved to Marshall County, Tennessee, where he died in 1867. The final blow came to the Harden family when the name of the county seat, which is called Hardensville at three locations, was changed to Savannah. Anyway, in 18, 1922, I'm sorry, when uh, Harden was re relieved from office, the county government apparently was denied the use of his residence because a committee uh, was formed immediately to find a new seat of justice, in other words, a permanent site for the county court. The site was chosen at the confluence of Turkey and Boone Creeks. Uh, about 50 acres was purchased, and the court met, met there for the first time in July of 1822. Louis H. Broyles, who had opened the first retail business in Hardin County in 1821, immediately moved his operation to the new county seat. In 1823, John Kendall built a hotel at the new town, Alexander Sweeney, a saddle shop, James Bowman, a hatter shop, and James Scott, a law office. Others buying lots were Joseph Buckingham, Gabriel Aids, William Sloan, Amos Harden, and I believe that was all, and work began on a courthouse and a jail that year. Uh, in 1824, there was much, much dissatisfaction with the locals because of the location of the county seat. It was, basically it was too far from the river and the river was the road to the outside world. All the commerce had to flow up and down the river. Uh, the state appointed a committee to locate a new county seat on the river. The site chosen was where the old stage road crossed the Tennessee River at Rudd's Ferry. Uh, being at the center west end of the Colonel Joseph Harden's 3,000 acre military grant, now owned by John Irwin. Realizing that this was gonna be an important place and uh, that money was to be made, the Harden family attempted to claim their father's grant, which he had already sold to uh, John Irwin. Well, John Irwin took the family to federal court in uh, Maury County, Tennessee, uh, and the judge found in favor of Irwin, however, gave the Hardens the right to appeal the judgment, but they did not, as they were uh, apparently broke after all of the problems that they had had. In 1825, Rudd's Ferry the Rudd's Ferry site was approved for the location of the new county seat of Hardinsville. The Irwins gave 50 acres for the new town in exchange for two prime lots uh, in Saint. David Robinson, who was a wealthy landowner uh, and the owner of the Cherry Mansion, which is built on the river, and also the owner of Rudd's Ferry, 
uh, about that time, gave the property for the courthouse. In 1826, the Irwins made plans to rename the town and call it Chambersburg after their hometown in Pennsylvania. After much wrangling, the parties involved agreed on the name Savannah, which was suggested by David Robinson's wife, Elizabeth Hooper Robinson. In 1827, the state legislature approved the name change for Hardinsville to Savannah, and a temporary courthouse was built of logs uh, during that period. All right, in 1829, the county court met for the first time in the new town of Savannah. In 1830s, saw the building of a new brick courthouse, a co-educational school, and the town has continued to grow over the years into the modern city that it is today.